Hello dear students, the other day we have already finished reading this lesson, lesson number 8. And uh, today we will discuss the question answers, especially question number A and B. So question number A, choose the correct options. Here we see Orpheus, okay, Orpheus was a gifted painter, musician and magician. So out of these three options, which is the correct, of course, number B. Then Aristaeus was a snake charmer, a gother and a sephard. Question number C, sephard is the right answer. Number three, Orpheus set off, set off means started for the underworld with his lyre, then flute and violin. So out of these three, which is the correct options? Number A, lyre. Number four, Cerberus was a three-headed cat, wolf and a dog. So the answer is dog. So this is all about question number A. Now let us discuss question number B. Answer the following questions. Why did Orpheus decided, decide to go to the underworld? So why did Orpheus or what made him to think or decide to go to the underworld? Let's see the answer. Orpheus decided to go to the underworld to bring Eurydice back from death. So let me repeat. Orpheus decided to go to the underworld to bring Eurydice back from death. Question number two. What did Orpheus do once he got there? So what did he do once he reached the breeze? Once he got there, he played his lyre and sang of his love for Eurydice in front of the residents of the underworld. I will repeat this answer once more. Once he got there, he played his lyre and sang of uh, his love for Eurydice in front of the residents of the underworld. Question number three. What were the reactions of the dwellers of the underworld? So what was the reactions? How did they react? How did they feel? His words, music and art held everyone spellbound. Heads openly wept and pursed phones heart melted. The frightening, the many headed Cerberus covered his many ears and whimpered in sadness. So listen to the answer once more. His words, music and art held everybody spellbound. Heads openly wept and purse phones heart melted. The frightening, many headed Cerberus covered his many years and whimpered in sadness. So this is what we are going to write. Next question. Was Orpheus successful in his mission? Let's see. Orpheus was not successful in his mission. Once he felt the warmth of the sun on his face, he turned around to celebrate with Eurydice. Eurydice was still in the underworld, then an Orpheus could only look at her disappear. So what happened? He was not successful at all in his mission because though he felt, okay, he felt that warmth of the sun and then he turned towards her beloved to see, but then, but then what happened? Eurydice was not on there on the human world that's why he could see he means here Orpheus could see only Eurydice getting disappeared so that is what you are going to write for question number four 
Number five, what you say? Would you consider Orpheus careless or unlucky? Give reason. So this is, I leave it for you. Would you consider, so what do you consider? Orpheus was careless or unlucky? So give your reason. If you are saying careless, why is it? If you say unlucky, so you have to support your answer for saying that. What is uh, one aspect of your nature that you would like to change and why? So what is the one of the aspect that one of the way okay that you want to change? Maybe in your behavior, maybe the way you talk, maybe the way you deal with the other people. So what is that aspect that you need to change? So this also, I just leave it on to you. So we have already discussed okay all these five questions or four questions and two question number five and six I leave it on to you and uh, the other things okay question number C uh, you just try to do it in case okay if you face any kind of difficulties you may tell me like uh, we can start with the first one just like here it says uh, find words in the passage that are similar in meaning to the ones given so Dawn, okay, daunted. It will be deterred. Number two, tuneful is there. It will be melodious. Number three, wind. Okay, that is whimpered. So this way, just try to find out and uh, write the what to say the similar words which are there. So I ask you, students, remember all these things. Okay, question number A and B, you are supposed to write in the copy, including question number C. Thank you so much.